Hi, today I want to talk to you about my diaper station and how it looks, how it works for me, and hopefully you can get some ideas for the way you could set up your cloth diaper station. This is the one that I have downstairs. There's another one up in my baby's nursery, but this one is in um, our dining slash family room. Makes it easier to not have to go upstairs to do diaper changing all the time. So what I have here is my cloth diapers are down in these baskets. So I just line them up, pull them so that they're nice and neat after they come out of laundry. So I can just grab them and go. They already have a liner in them. Next to my diapers, I have my cloth wipes. I just fold them in half. I have our squirt bottle full of water. And this little guy here is coconut oil. I put this on my baby's bottom to um, prevent rashes. This will not cure a rash because it doesn't have any um, zinc oxide in it, but it helps prevent it and it's really nice on your baby's bottom. It's, it's safe for your cloth diapers. Um, rash cream is not safe for cloth diapers, so that's another video. Um, I also have these diaper liners. These were given to me for free, so I couldn't even tell you how much they would cost you. Um, they're really thin. And this is what I would put in between my baby's bottom and the diaper if I were to have to use diaper cream. It just creates a barrier so that the diaper cream doesn't get on your diaper. I have some burp cloths, slippers. That's my breast pump, which I don't really use. And my wet bag hanging on the side. I use a dry wet bag, which kind of sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> um, I don't like to store my diapers in like a wet bucket or anything like that because this works just fine. This is a Planet Wise wet bag I got from Amazon. And so, yeah, I guess I also have lotion for me mainly after um, using the hand sanitizer. I don't use that for my baby, that's for me. Um, but there it is, helps me keep organized and that's all I need to do cloth diapering.